it was a great place to grow up because there weren't fences like there are now. We could roam all over the place, and it was a family town. There, the kids that we knew, everybody knew everybody around here back then. So we were all a big family. That's why everybody knew my mom, our mom, as mom. So we're giving a tour of the Walsh family compound in Dewey Beach and we're starting out front where Jimmy Walsh had Walsh Electronics back in the mid-1950s. Dad had an electronics shop operating out of here selling TVs, radios, and he could fix anything. It had electricity in it. Stereos, the big old time stereos that were like a whole cabinet full of radio and TV and record player and all that kind of stuff. This was the original living area of the cottage that was on the Dewey Beach property in 1935 when my great-grandmother bought it and then my grandparents, my dad's mom and dad, lived here in the summers and brought the whole family down for the whole time they were growing up. There were mornings where we would come downstairs, especially on a Friday, Saturday morning, and there would be people sleeping all over mom's house, literally on the floor in the living room under the dining room table. We would have to sort of step across them in their sleeping bags on our way to the kitchen to get breakfast. It was a lot of fun, it was a lot of family. Living room, dining room area, and a big kitchen to feed what eventually became eight kids. And of course all of our friends and neighbors and strays that wandered through because it was literally a house where all the family would congregate. Everybody would wind up here in the kitchen and the dining room and the living room just hanging out. All our friends would come by. Mom was mom to everybody. She just, everybody knew Alice and they called her mom. The breezeway up here, which is, that was my grandfather's office. That was built in the mid 1960s to connect the two houses. So that gave us this great breezeway, which is basically our window on Dewey Beach. It's better than the Rehoboth Boardwalk, the things you'll see sitting in this breezeway watching the world go by. This used to be our yard. There was front yard in front of the cottage next door where my grandparents lived. There was parking out front for dad's customers for the TV shop. And the state highway department came and took it all away when they wanted to make Route 1 a dual highway. Right here, as the highway was being constructed and the road graders were pushing dirt up in a mound across the front of the property. My grandfather got down behind the dirt mound with the 45 caliber to make it look like he was holding off the uh, forces that were taking the front of his property away. We all just decided that uh, instead of going the route of a, a regular, you know, listing and put it up for uh, sale that way to just go to the auction and uh, let the highest bidder take it and the more the merrier. We're hoping to have a, a good turnout and uh, we'll find out the day of the auction. It's going to be really interesting to see how the auction turns out because it feels like the end of an era but also the beginning of an exciting new use for this property. Absolutely. And Butch puts on a great show. Yeah, oh, he yeah. does. He does. <laughs> and you must be right, right once again, if you're just coming up, you want a bid, you better run in and get a number. All right, start it out, and let's try to we'll say $3 million to start this property. $3 million, it'll be $3 million, it'll be $3 million, it'll be $2.5 million. $2.5, it'll be $2 million. Who we'll started? Stop where we start, where we stop. $1 million, it'll be $900,000. Stop where we start, stop where we stop. Stop where we stop, Money's no good in the bank. 